I'm Cheryl Leach. In this problem, we're going to be doing several things. First of all, we're going to be finding the equation of the tangent line to the curve f of x equals x cubed at the point 2, 8. After we find this, we're going to go ahead and use a graphing utility to sketch the graph of both x cubed and our tangent line that we come up with. And then we're going to verify that our results that we got in part a were indeed correct. Okay, let's get started. First, we need the equation of our tangent line. Now, we're looking for the equation of a line. To find the equation of a line, you need two things. You need the slope and you need one point on the line. Well, we already know a point that's on the line, so we're good there, but we need to find the slope. We know the slope of a tangent line is defined as the limit as delta x approaches zero of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x. Now to evaluate this limit, there are really four parts. We'll be looking at the function value when the input is x plus delta x. That's the first part. The second part is subtracting the f of x. The third part is dividing by delta x. And finally, part four is taking the overall limit. So let's go ahead and start with the inside piece, which is going to be the function value when the input is x plus delta x. So I'm going to have the limit as delta x approaches 0 of f of x plus delta x. Well, my function tells me to cube the input. So that's going to be x plus delta x cubed. The second part is to subtract the f of x. So that means I need to subtract x cubed. The third part says divide by delta x. So I'll divide by delta x. And then the last part is to take that limit. Okay, if I try to evaluate the limit at this stage, I'm going to get 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate form. So I need to find a way of rewriting that expression. Okay, as I look at this, I notice that I have x plus delta x quantity cubed. I'm going to go ahead and multiply that out. So what I need to do is multiply x plus delta x by itself three times. So if I do that, the result is going to be x cubed plus 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus delta x cubed. I'm then going to subtract my x cubed and divide the whole thing by delta x. Now, if you need to, it's perfectly fine to do a little side work and take that x plus delta x and multiply it by itself three times. The result, though, will be exactly what I have written here. Okay, so now what? When I look at this numerator, I notice that there is an x cubed and a minus x cubed. Those will add together to be 0. I also notice that everything that's remaining in the numerator has a delta x in it, so I can factor delta x out. So I'll have the limit as delta x approaches 0 of delta x times the quantity 3x squared plus 3x delta x plus delta x squared. And that still is all divided by delta x. Now I notice the delta x is a factor of both the numerator and the denominator, so I can cancel them, which leaves me with the limit delta x approaches 0 of 3x squared plus 3x delta x plus delta x squared. Okay, well I no longer have that indeterminate form 0 divided by 0, so I'm going to be able to evaluate my limit. As delta x approaches 0, notice that the second and the third term both go to 0. The first term remains a 3x squared. So I've evaluated the slope of my tangent line at any point along the curve x cubed. Now I want to find out what happens at the point 2, 8. So at the point 2, 8, my slope is going to be 3 times x squared 
and x is going to be 2. 2 squared is 4 times 3 gives me a slope of 12. Okay, now I have the slope of my tangent line and one point on my line. So I can go ahead and get the equation of the tangent line. I'm going to use the point slope formula for that. So I have y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1. And I'll plug in the appropriate information. The y coordinate of my given point is 8. So I'll plug in an 8. The slope of my tangent line, that's the 12. And the x coordinate of my given point is 2. With a little simplifying, I have y minus 8 equals 12x minus 24. And I'm going to solve for y, so I'm going to add 8 to both sides. And I'm left with y equals 12x minus 16. And that's the equation of the tangent line to the curve x cubed passing through the point 2, 8. All right, now we're going to use a graphing utility to verify these results. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my calculator, or use my graphing utility, to get the graph of x cubed and 12x minus 16. So I'll go ahead and enter x cubed and 12x minus 16, and take a look at the graph. Okay, many graphing utilities also have a feature where you can draw in a tangent line. So if your utility has that feature, you can draw the tangent line at the point x equals 2. And when you do that, you notice that the tangent line is, draw, is going right on top of, or being drawn right on top of 12x minus 16. Now, I neglected to mention that you have a nice window if you use a minimum at negative 1, a maximum of 3, with an x scale of 1 a y minimum of negative 1, a y maximum of 9, with a y scale of 1. You don't have to use this window, but this will give you a nice picture. Okay, one last thing. Some graphing utilities not only will show you a tangent line drawn, but it will also tell you what the slope and the y-intercept of that tangent line is. And if your calculator or graphing utility has that feature, then you can go ahead and verify that the slope was indeed 12 and the y-intercept was minus 16. I hope that helped. Thanks.